welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Gigi with Gigi Loves Beauty 2, and I'm back with another video. All right, so in today's video, I am going to be bringing to you the first 20 to 20 empties video and this is in collaboration with brown mocha i am going to put her channel on either side of the screen she reached out to me on instagram and wanted to um do a collab with our january empties video if you are not familiar i do my empties videos every two months just because i feel like it allows me the chance to create um not create it allows me the chance to gather enough products to show you enough different kinds of products to show you both in personal care beauty hair care all that good jazz and make sure you stay tuned to the end because after my video her video is going to play right after mine so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so i'm gonna jump right in and i'm going to grab some body care items and the first items that i am going to grab are these three body washes right here um these two are the dial moisture balance body washes um one is in hibiscus water and the other one is in it lavender jasmine right here these are the body washes that my daughters use this one right here is the olay ultra moisture coconut oasis um ultra Hydra Tan Lock-In Moisture Body Wash right here. And I actually just finished this one. Another body care item is the Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. I love using these wet skin moisturizers. Um, so how you use these is if I haven't, um, if you haven't seen my videos before, you put these on your skin right after you get out the shower when your skin is still wet and you let your skin sort of air dry and then you pat with a towel and it's supposed to lock in the moisture. I love using these. These are really, really good products. Okay, next item I have is a hair care item. I finally finished the Shea Moisture African Black Soap dandruff control shampoo in my last empties video i finished some of the other products in the line that i had and i was finally able to finish the shampoo so i'm happy about that i did enjoy using this um it really did help cleanse my hair and also my oldest daughter's hair but i don't i don't know if this line is still available but i'm actually not going to repurchase this line because i have other products in Shea Moisture that I like better. Another item in personal care is the Aquafresh Extreme Clean White Whitening Action Toothpaste. Right here, this is me and my husband's favorite toothpaste. Gotta keep your teeth nice and clean and fresh. Another hair care item that I have is the um, Suave with Natural Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Oil Nourish and Strength and Leave-In Conditioner. Let me open this up so you can see. It is all used up. So both um, myself, my son, and my youngest daughter use this leave-in. So I'm, um, I really do love this leave-in. I love the way that it smells. I have some of the other products in the line and I really, really like it. Let's see. Um, next hair care item is... Uh, um, my youngest daughter uses this, and this is the Pantene 3 Minute Mir Miracle Curl Perfection Deep Conditioner. This is her favorite product to use as a leave in. She uses this as a leave in on her hair. Let's see, do I have any other personal care items? Yes, I do. So, um, also, I have the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser Maximum Strength with Benzoyl Peroxide. And this is a holy grail cleanser for me. I love this. This keeps my skin um, blemish free. It has 10% benzoyl peroxide. I don't know if you can see that, but if you can see that, this is the strongest um, concentration of benzoyl peroxide that I've ever seen in a cleanser. It's my holy grail. I use it all the time. I love it so much. Next item I have is the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Moisturizer. This is the daytime one open it up so you can see I have pretty much used it all up I can't get any more out of there um, I use this moisturizer in the morning after I cleanse my face um, I go in with a gel cream and then I top off with this moisturizer here 
Uh, next item I have is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. That is all gone. Um, I use this at night. I love layering and cocktailing my skincare products. This is an amazing drugstore moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. It's a gel cream and it absorbs in your skin really, really fast. Love that. Um, next item I have, this is an item that I got in my Ipsy bag, and this is the Bio Race Moisturizing and Enhancing um, Hydration Gel Cream right here. And I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag, I think in October. I pretty much finished, I can't get any more to come out of here. I've already repurchased another one. I love this serum. Use that at night. And now we're gonna get into, oh wait, hold on, let's see. Let me grab some more, um, grab some more like skincare products out of here. All right, so first I have, this is the Ritual of Sakura body cream i got this as a free gift i actually have the shower gel in the organic rice milk and cherry blossom but this is just a little sample size that i finished i do really like that scent and this is another item i got in my ipsy bag and it's the real chemistry environmental rescue essential day cream i use that up i just use this as a hand cream i put it on my desk at work and now I have some masks. So this is the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Masks. This one is a hair mask. This is by Palmer's and this is the Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. Also, the this is from the brand The Seam. I got this in an Ipsy bag. This is the Natural Shea Butter Sheet Mask. This is from Pharmacy and this is the Hydrating Coconut Gel Sheet Mask. And then also from the cream shop, which is a drugstore, this is a turmeric face mask. So I got through all of those. Uh, let's pull out some setting sprays. I was able to finish two setting sprays. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, Holy Grail setting spray, but this stuff is hella expensive. Um, so I do love this. I try to buy it when it's on sale or buy it in a two pack because it's so expensive. Um, this one is a more affordable one. This is the Morphe Continuous Mist setting spray. I just finished this. I really, really love this setting spray too as a more affordable option. I have a primer that I finished from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Base Business Pore Minimizing Primer. I know it looks like there's still product in here, but I literally can't get any more product to come out of here. I love this primer. This is an excellent, excellent, affordable option. I have several backups of this ready to go. Love this primer. And um, let me see, I'm trying to think of what I want to go through next. So here is the Macadamia Professional Nourishing Oil Treatment. This is just a little sample size. I finished this. Um, this is just an oil for your hair. It's, it's a pretty thick oil and I really do like it, but this brand is super expensive at Ulta, so I probably would not repurchase that. Um, this is the Oil of Olay Anti-Aging Eye Transforming Cream. It is not completely empty, but I've used pretty much all that I am going to use out of here. And um, I used this for a good while, at least six months. And honestly, I did not see a huge um, improvement in my under eye area from using this. So I'm going to be testing, going back to some of my other favorite products and testing out some newer products um, to see if they work better under my eyes. Uh, let's see, this is a primer that I'm actually going to declutter, and this is the Infallible L'Oreal Paris Matte Lock Primer. Just because this product is old, I've had it for a while, it's expired. I've only used it a handful of times and I didn't really like how it performed, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this item right here, this I fell in love with, and I got this in my Allure box. It is the Bosch & Lomb Lumify eye drops and like I said I got this in my Allure box I went to CVS and repurchased another one I use these eye drops every single day they make my eyes look so bright and the white part of my eyes looks so white and so awake I love this stuff let's see um let's go let's go through I have a lot now what I have left is like mascara and um in lip products, but I do also have this. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Wax. 
and I've only got like a tiny bit left in there um, but I, I'm you know this is pretty much I'm gonna count this as an empty um, this is a holy grail brow product for me it's a clear brow wax it's two dollars I use it to set my brows I love it to death now let me show you some mascaras so I've got quite a few here that I am going to be getting rid of and these are the icon oh wait the ico i'm sorry the ico beach waterproof mascaras um i got one in an ipsy glam bag plus and then i went and bought an extra one and i don't know why i did as an add-on for three dollars because i do not like this mascara at all so <laughs> um they're expired so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them and like i said i don't really like them uh, another mascara that is ready to go is this Makeup Forever, Ex Makeup Forever Extensive Lash Mascara. It is dried out. I do like this. This is more like a, like an everyday mascara. It's not like super dramatic. I do really like it, and I would repurchase it if I had it on if I found it on sale. Um, another mascara I went through is the Ulta Beauty Ultimate Lashes Multitasking Mascara, and this is in jet black. Again, this is just expired, dried out ready to go um, but I do really love Ulta formula mascaras and I would repurchase this again next one I have is the uh, L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara this is one that is just expired this is in black noir and I absolutely love this mascara this is one of my holy grail drugstore mascaras I really feel like this is the dupe for the Too Faced better than sex mascara that is what the wand looks like again it is just expired and ready to go and the next one I have is the mascara revolution this is from makeup revolution and it is just in the shade black and here is the wand I've already repurchased another one of these again like I said it's expired and dried out but I love this mascara as well and let me see I've got a couple of lip lip products and some fragrance products and brow products. So let's go through some of these lip products. So these two right here are some lip glosses that I've gone through and this is the Buxom lip gloss in the color Sugar. I have gone through that. This one right here is by Urban Decay and it's the Naked lip gloss and this one is in the shade Say So or Sesso. And these next two lippies, they're not exactly empties, but I'm going to get rid of them just because I don't use them anymore and I really don't like the formula. First one is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink, and this is in the shade 70 Amazonian. I don't know what it is about this particular lippy, but I have like several, several other um, Super Stay Matte Inks, and this one, is just super flaky and it just does not work right for me so I'm gonna get rid of that one and then these two lippies right here these are some lipsticks this one is from Urban Decay it is in the shade Firebird I don't like this one because it runs on me it runs on my lips even if I put on a lip liner um, I've had it for a while so I'm gonna get rid of it this one is a context lipstick and it is in the shade Sweet Emotion that came from my Ipsy bag. And the reason why I'm getting rid of this is because, do you see how it's like crooked? Like as soon as I tried to put it on my lips, it like, it like kind of broke on me, which I thought was a bummer because the shade is beautiful. It's a beautiful, warm, neutral color, but I don't like how this is made and I can't really use it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, next item I have, this is the Bio Swiss Brow Shaper right here. And these are the shapers and razors that I use to clean up and shape my brows. I do not pluck my eyebrows. These are the only things that I use to shape my brows. And the last items that I have are some perfume samples. And this one is Black Opium. This is my Holy Grail love 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 this shade I mean the shade this scent <laughs> it's by Yves Saint Laurent and this one is um K. Ali vanilla number 28 this is from Huda Beauty I used that up and um I'm not sure if I would repurchase this because 
uh, full size just because these scents are really, really sweet and I normally do love vanilla scents, but these are just like almost too sweet for me. All right, so that is a wrap for this video. Thank you again for watching and before I go, I'm gonna share with you really, really quick what I'm wearing on my face. And again, don't forget, do not watch, I'm, I'm sorry, do not turn off this video after I'm done. Make sure you continue to watch because her video is going to be at the end. So on my eyes today, I decided to use the Nomad palette by Juvia's Place. These are the colors. I just, I wanna get through this video as quickly as possible. So I'm just doing a quick, quick show and tell. Um, I actually did try a new foundation and concealer. This is the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Honey. I also tried the corresponding concealer and it is in the shade Golden. Those are my complexion products and this looks bomb.com. For bronzer, I used the Morphe um, Contour Palette, the Hi-Fi 8H Palette, which looks just like that. And I used um, Debutante and Fabulous on my face for bronzer. For blush, I used this BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease Palette. I heard about this from my girl, Glam Girl Chelsea. And when she ran and raved about this palette, it was only $16. I decided I had to check it out. Those are the colors. The blush I used is the one right here, which is called Santorini. For highlighter, I used this. This is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Lucent Jungle. I'll open it up so you can see. Right there, that is what I have as a highlighter. And on my lips, I have a combination of these. This is the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate. And then for gloss, I have Miss Fenty. This came from the Fenty Glossy Posse set and this is in the shade Cheeky, all right? So um, again, that is a wrap for this video. Thank you again for watching. If you are new here, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All of my returning subscribers, you guys know I love you so, so much. Um, again, once again, thank you for watching. Leave me some comments down below if you have tried some of these products that I showed in my empties. Let's chit chat about it. I love to chit chat with you in the comments. And again, thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to tune in and watch Brown Mocha's video. I will also link her channel down below in my description, okay? I love you guys, thank you for watching. Bye. So this is gonna be a collaboration with Gigi Loves Beauty 2. The link to her channel will be in my description box down below. So this is gonna be a collaboration with Gigi Loves Beauty 2. The link to her channel will be in my description box down below. She has a lot of makeup and I think you guys will really like it. So definitely go show Gigi some love in her comment section. So unfortunately I'm having technical difficulties so I have to shorten up my videos. Normally on my channel I have more products to show you but I have to shorten it up. So first starting off with the Bath & Body Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Body Lotion. I think the packaging is cute. Comes in a glass bottle and it smells really good. The scent to this, I would describe it as a light peppermint, but it's a soothing scent, so you should smell it yourself. This is just my idea of what it smells like. But some of the things on the back, it says, this fast absorbing body lotions condition skin with ultra nourishing shea butter. Eucalyptus oil clears the mind, spearmint oil soothes and uplifts. So the reason why I wouldn't get this again is because is self-explanatory on the back it says this fast absorbing body lotion my skin doesn't feel as hydrated or nourished enough or moistured enough when i use this so that's why i want to get it in this form they also sell this in a body butter and a 24-hour moisturizing cream i would check it out in in things like that versus this so this is a no for me cute packaging though uh the cost for this is 13.50 Next, I have the Pink Cashmere Shower Gel from Bath & Body. This comes in a plastic bottle. 
I think the packaging is quite they could have done better with the packaging I'm not impressed okay so some of the things on the back it says wrap yourself in this soft ultra feminine fragrance a sheer essence that hugs the skin key notes pink jasmine petals creamy sandalwood white amber and cashmere musk if you've been watching my bath and body videos you already know how i feel about bath and body shower gel i feel like it's overpriced the cost of this is 12.50 overpriced i'm not impressed it doesn't do anything that that impressive so to describe the smell i would say this smells like a sweet lemonade and in the beginning i liked it but after getting to the bottom of this, I wasn't that into it. You know, I was over it pretty much. I mean, if somebody were gifted this to me, yes, I'd get it again. But uh, no, I'm not really into it at all. So um, it's okay, though, to each its own. And that's all I have for my January 2020 empties. So I hope you guys enjoy it.